What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome to Train Simulator 2017 and I haven't actually played this game in quite a while, in fact quite a few months, last time I played this was when I made a time lapse video on it and a few of the controls are quite weird to me, I gotta admit I'm still getting used to them since I haven't played in such a long time and another thing it's worth noting it's currently 2 35 a.m in real life and my dad's in bed next door so i gotta keep my voice down uh it's eight o'clock in game and we're at bristol parkway with this very lovely hst which is actually in the old great western colors the new one is green and i know this because they go right past my house in fact, we're about to go past my house. I will point it out when we get past. Obviously not the exact house, but close to where I live. So, not much left to do. It's 8 o'clock, or at least it should be. This is the, it's the time real. Oh my god, it shows the real time. I bet it won't show the destination or anything. No. Anyway, we're going to catch this train to Cardiff Central via the next stop, my hometown of Newport. It's 8 o'clock because I'm the f I think the first train from London, which is where this would have originated, would be about 6. So it'd probably take about 2 hours to get all the way to Bristol Parkway. So about 8 o'clock sounds accurate to me. It was either that or 7.30. I went for 8. So how do we open the doors? I think it's T. Oh wow, good memory. And let's change camera. This is first class. I don't even know which carriage this is. Uh, oh, hello. Yeah, as I said, I'm still getting used to the controls. Uh, an above view, that's not very useful. This view, which is, I suppose, okay. Right, the doors are shut, we can go now. So, uh, let's open the menu thing. I literally am still getting used to this. I know the basics. So our journey, as it says by here, is 33.45 miles to Cardiff Central Platform 3. Uh, that's a, like a sort of, I suppose you would call it a G meter. Like it tells you if it goes in the red, you're probably going to derail. Ooh, another train. You're probably going to derail if that goes in the red, that little white dot. We have a train. That's cool. Freightliner. They park up behind my house. So yeah, I chose this route, the South Wales Coastal, in Train Simulator, because it literally goes past my house. I'm looking at the track right now. So that's pretty cool. I will show you my house, definitely. And I suppose I can give you a little bit of history as we go along. Right, I think that's our light there. How do you zoom in? Not like that. Uh, ooh, why? That is our light there, I think. That's quite cool, though. They put bags of sand there. Right, we should probably get going. Uh, so the reverser in forward, break off, no, right, notch one, I'm going to go brave and use this head up display, so the speed limit now is, oh, 90, oop, still getting used to controls, let's go full throttle, yes, Right, one thing I want to know, because I'm using an Xbox controller, can you change cameras with the numbers? Yes, you can. Ooh, that's cool. So, two is outside. Three is back of the train. Uh, okay. So, that's the back of our train. Four is that. Five inside. Six above. Seven very high above. Eight nine right one is what i want so if you went left here i believe you would go to bristol temple meads oh the speed limit's gone down you need to keep an eye on that uh we're going right this will take us through patchway no not patchway there's a yeah this is patchway around the corner here so where did we just depart from uh Center player. I thought we just came from Patchway. No, that's Parkway, innit? Yeah. Bristol Parkway. This is Patchway. Uh, we're not stopping at Patchway. But after Patchway, there is a tunnel. 
And I know something quite cool about the tunnel because my friend actually works for Great Western Railway on a HST. They are the most comfy trains going mind. But there's two tunnels at Patchway and the track splits. One goes through one tunnel and one goes through the other tunnel. And the reason for that is because it's on a gradient. And back in the day when they used steam trains, if they were full, they were too heavy to get up through the one tunnel. So they had to build a separate tunnel specifically for heavy trains, which is at less of an angle. So I think we're going to go through a steeper one. But the one on, you'll see the track on the right will go down now. It'll start going down at a lesser angle than us. Because the old trains just wouldn't be able to make it. So that's a pretty cool fact for you there. Right, we're currently in England. Right, speed limit's gone up again. Full power. Top speed of this train, 125. Although, I think they hit 148 in testing, if I remember right. Turn it down a little. And, yeah, top speed is 125. We're in England, in Bristol, which is a very big city in England. And we're going to be going through the Severn Tunnel, which separates England from Wales, the River Severn. And halfway through, we will go into Wales, and of course we're going to Cardiff, the capital of Wales. So that's pretty cool. We actually, this isn't actually an international train journey. Cool bit of trivia. Are our headlights on full? Because I can't see anything. Uh, I don't know. Perhaps it'll come out clearer. I have got the light on, so perhaps it's obscuring. Right, I'm going to turn the throttle down to zero now, because if we're going so steep downhill, it'll probably roll the rest of the way to 90 miles an hour. In fact, we're probably going to need to brake. So we're coming out of the big tunnel, the steep one. We're starting to level out a bit now. I think there's a one mile an hour leniency. So if you're one mile an hour over, it won't start penalising you any more than that, and it will. Although, I'm not in career mode, right, we need to brake a little. I'm not in career mode, I'm just in normal play driver person mode. I was close then. So, I'm going to brake it down to 89, then I'm going to release the brakes and let it roll back up to 90 something. Right, that should be enough. We are currently coming into Pilning, and if I remember right, Helming is one of the least used stations in Britain, I think. I don't know the, this local area very well, I don't spend much time in Bristol. I've been there certainly, but I just don't spend much time there. My dog lives in Bristol. It's quite kind of sad. My dad just been married to a woman, and she was absolutely horrible. The only nice thing she ever did for me was buy me a dog. And when they split up, none of them wanted the dog, she wouldn't let us have the dog, so I went to live with my uncle in Bristol as a compromise, which satisfied absolutely no one. That was a bit personal, but screw it, I don't care telling you. She was a biatch. But yeah, so now my dog, Max, lives in Bristol with my uncle, and I was a kid when this happened. I went up there about a year ago to see Max, walked in the front door with my uncle, and he didn't even recognise me. That really, really upset me that bit, i got to be honest. Right, anyway, on a more cheery note, I haven't been keeping an eye on the signals. That's probably not a good thing. There's one coming up. We do have a safety system called AWS. It's these little yellow things like that we just rode over. Oh, that's an AWS warning. And if you don't hit the alert thing when the AWS goes off, which warns you of the next signal colour, you will basically the emergency brake will get applied. So we had an AWS, that means speed drop, oh cack. Uh oh, I think we went a long way then with the brakes on. Speeding, sorry. Poor pie rocking. Right, just in the nick of time. Green light, right, we're going into the seven tunnel now. I think it's the longest railway tunnel in Britain. The channel tunnel doesn't count because it goes across to France. I'm fairly sure this is the longest tunnel in Britain. We're still speeding. Shite. Just put that brake on. It goes downhill. When it gets to the middle, there's a blue light and it starts going uphill. And it's so steep that you have to put even a HST in full power, otherwise it won't make it. Oh wow, it is steep. Basically, you've got to keep the brakes on the entire time. 
as soon as we leave the tunnel, well, basically as soon as, there'll be another station called Seven Tunnel Junction where we don't have to stop. We can just go flying through that. The next stop is Newport. It's Newport's nice. I've lived there all my life pretty much. It's not the best city I've ever been to, but it's certainly quite nice. It's quite big as well. It's a lot bigger than most people realise. I was in work before in my old job and some guys came down from I think it was where was it? Uh somewhere up north and it goes wow never been Newport before it's a lot bigger than it's a lot different to how you vision it and they was telling me how Newport they thought was just like a small city didn't really deserve to be called a city but it's actually really big right in this these are the blue lights I was on about by the way they indicate in the middle of the tunnel so in a second I'm going to go full power so I'll start breaking a little bit and as soon as we hit the middle, I'm going to go, there's the blue light, step the two blue lights indicate we're going up the hill. Okay, that was too early. Right now, full power, and it shouldn't pick up speed. At least that's the plan. No. Damn. Okay, let's just... Let's test the waters, let's go up increment at a time. So 40% it is losing speed, 60 it's gaining speed. So just balance between 40 and 60. But yeah, in Newport they had a redevelopment at the end of 2015. Friars what it cost like 70 something million quid. Massive thing, it made the place look so much better because it was basically a laughing stock before then. But it's actually pretty nice down here now. We um, hosted the Ryder Cup in 2010, I believe it was. A lot of Americans came over. They rebuilt half the area to make it look better. And in 2000 and I think 12, oops, not playing with power. In 2012, we had the NATO summit for all the NATO countries, and Barack Obama actually visited uh, one of the local schools and spoke to the school children. Is that the end of the tunnel up there, or is that just a graphics glitch? No, that's the end, and we're going to pass another train here. What are you? You're another HST? Hello, buddy. That's the new HST library. That GWR green, right out the tunnel. We've got a speed drop coming up, I've got to be careful of that. Let's go outside view now we've left the camera. It's not the start. Oop, side camera, side view. And back of the train. First class. Whoa, that scared me a bit. Oh, the axis on the finger inverted to what I'm used to. Just give me a second to get used to it. On GTA, it's the other way around. So left is right, right is left. Up is down, and down is up. Right, we can speed up a bit. So this is Seven Tunnel Junction up by here. And this is around Caldicott sort of area, Mega maybe. No, it's not quite as far as Mega. Uh, it's further than Mega even. Right, we've got 21 miles left to go and that will go surprisingly fast. Power off, move back to speed then. Green light. So, Train Simulator 2017, I don't actually know what area this is before you ask, I think it's Caldicott, it might be Chepstow, not sure. But what do I think of Train Simulator 2017, because they've just released the new version Train Sim World. Um, bear in mind my old Train Simulator game was Trains 2006, which I was playing on a laptop at 4 frames a second, seriously. Uh, it's definitely a lot better. We're about to go under the M4. This is the only motorway in Wales, I think. But yeah, Train Sim World's just been released and it's a hell of a lot more detailed than Train Simulator. Uh, but considering what I've played in the past, which I've got to be honest wasn't very modern, this is definitely a good game. 
graphics wise not the best but it's certainly close to the track the graphics are pretty good I'm still trying to get used to the blooming camera I'm trying to make it turn around and go up a bit uh, close to the track the detail is pretty good like you can certainly go to your hometown and say oh this is my hometown like you just recognize things they m spent a lot of time modeling stations and bridges and things in the area but then as you get further away i'm not sure how to zoom out for this camera not that not that uh i don't know how to zoom out but yeah you can see off in the distance is not as detailed like far from track which i suppose is a good thing uh, from a performance point of view like i'm getting a solid 60 now and it, it's pretty yeah it's solid it's a full 60 frames a second and it's definitely better on the performance but it's like the houses are a bit repetitive like you'll see these houses on the right over by here that's the same, that's the same, that's the same with a box thing on the back, a porch. And this is not much variation. I don't know what those buildings on the hill are. Oh, another train. And camera down. Boom. Magic. That's pretty cool, actually. I might screenshot that in the editing. That is the place I applied for a job for, if I think if I remember right. Oh my god, I didn't even realise how slow we were going. <laughs> Full power. Yeah, I applied for a job in that building over there. <laughs> oh well. So now we're by Mega. I know exactly where we are now. There should be a little lane on the right and a level crossing after this. Like the one track goes up and over and comes back down next to us. And right after that is a level crossing. That's Bishpool or Bishton, one of them. And then Langwyrn after that. But yeah, Train Simulator, it's a pretty good game, but compared to Train Sim World, I haven't played it. I'm probably not going to buy it, if I'm honest. I don't know. But Train Sim World is a lot more technical. It's a lot more in the era of simulation rather than just play about driving. Like, if you don't know anything about trains, like, I don't know that much about trains. Like, my question is, if I didn't, if I was lazy and didn't read the tutorial, and I just got in, would I be able to drive it? That's my main question, because like, I don't know much about trains, like, I can't tell you what these buttons down here do, I can't tell you what that over there does, I just don't know, this is the level crossing I was on about, so we're now in Bishful or Bishton, one of them, I can never remember which one, and that's Langwyrn on the left, for the, those tracks will rejoin us in a minute, but yeah, I don't know, how simple the controls in Train Sim World will be. That's my main worry. Like, if, on this game, if I don't know what something does, take for example, this button, I can just hover over it, or perhaps not. Like that, for example, I just hover over it and go, oh, that's the headlight switch. That's pretty, pretty obvious. Nah, the dials you can't, but that is the train brake and so on and so forth. I don't know if train simulator is the same, and a lot of people like that, and I don't know, if I learned it properly, I'd probably prefer a proper simulator, but I'm just not sure. There should be some kind of, I don't know if there's some kind of way to choose how much simulation you want. That's why we're not picking up speed. How the hell did the reverser get into neutral? You son of a gun. We probably wasted about 10 minutes later schedule now, even though we've got no ETA or anything. Damn, that sucks, that does. Oh well, on the next stretch between Newport and Cardiff, I'll get it right up to speed. I think the fastest we can go is 95, and we'll certainly get it up to that. But yeah, Trains in World, I'm probably not going to play it, but it does certainly look like a good game. Uh, let's see if we can see any sights. So there's those tracks that split off. They're going to rejoin us in a moment. Uh, this area, there's a golf course on the right. Other than that, it's pretty much farmland. Uh, not sure what those buildings are there are. That would be... Uh, that's not a landward. Or it might be, actually. 
Yeah, that's probably Lan Wernber there. That probably represents the golf course. Uh, there's going to be a bridge Oh, there's another train coming towards us, I think. Uh, is it? Yes. Oh, uh, we've got the emergency brake. Damn it. Hashtag screenshot. Yeah, we got the emergency brake, so now the train's going to have to come to a full stop before I can get going again. Which kind of sucks. Boom. Screenshot magic. I'm going to have to find something good to press my thumbnail. Uh, right. Wait for it to stop. Although we might be low enough now, actually. No, nope, can't release the brakes yet. No. No. Nope. Uh, forward. Full throttle. Hope we don't wheel spin. Dude, I, w I was genuinely surprised when I found out trains could wheel spin because this is like four, probably four, five hundred tons. Yeah, it can just go. Yeah, I'll wheel spin. I, I know that the metal on metal isn't very grippy, and they have thousands of horsepower, but still, wheel spin is pretty impressive. Alright, there's those tracks that split off, they're coming back now. They basically go into a yard, that's about it. You can actually go and visit the yard on the game, but I don't think there's any scenarios going through or anything. Right, on the right there's Ringland, and in a moment on the right, there'll be a big pond. And that pond's called the Quarry, and there's an actual, there's actually an urban legend, but back in the 20s or 30s, a steam train was going around that corner too fast and derailed but there was no paperwork of it and apparently there's a train at the bottom of the quarry and I can show you exactly why I don't believe that now. So we'll see the quarry now. Uh, is that it for this? That looks like it. Yes it is. So that represents the quarry. But the thing is these tracks haven't changed in 150 years. So if it derailed it'd go outwards. It wouldn't go in towards the curve, it would go out that way, surely, and hit where those houses are. So, yeah, that's a bit... I don't believe that myth. It's a cool story, though. Right, we're coming up to Sumpton Bridge, which is... They actually just rebuilt this bridge to make way for the electrification, which is no longer happening. Apparently, they're not electrifying as far as Newport now. I'm going to cut the throttle back. Right, we're coming up on my house, and this is the yard behind my house that I mentioned. And these are the exact rails I was looking at. I will show you roughly where my house is. So, this is East Dusk Yard. It's one of two yards in Newport. There's one the other side of the station. Uh, I'm going to start breaking. Okay, perhaps I didn't need to start breaking because it just did it for me. Son of a gun. I need to get back in the cab. Uh, yeah, it shows that I'm not a professional train driver. Right, this is roughly where my house is on the right here. It's one of these. I'm not going to say which one. Because I do have a bit of privacy. But yeah, one of these houses is mine. And it's not the one with the trampoline sticking through the fence. Or the floor. <laughs> Look at that, stop right at the light, which would be good if that light was red. Oh, another HST, I'm going to get a, a good screenshot with this one. going to line the camera up and everything. Right, this is going to be my thumbnail, I think. Boom, like that. Uh, camera up, these controls, it's backwards to Grand Theft Auto, and I know you can probably invert them, but I don't know, I just don't want to. That's a pretty cool photo as well. Right, uh, we should probably think about starting to get going. Can I do it without the thing? That's the question. Yep, yeah, I did that without the hood. I'm quite proud of that. Hood, not hood. <laughs> right, coming into Newport now, so I'm going to go uh, first person. Or inside view, whatever you want to call it. Uh, because I need to concentrate for this part, so I don't know what platform we're coming into. They normally come in on platform 2. That's where I would imagine we're going now. 
Uh, Newport Station actually got redeveloped in, I think it was 2009 for the Ryder Cup because they wanted to show off and they put this really big walkway on it and I think it looks like, stupid if I'm honest it's cooler than the old one definitely but I know they spend millions on it I think they could have spent that money somewhere better maybe we'll see it when we get into Newport right speed off and frame this curve. We're now in Mandy, which is like one of the main shopping and getting drunk parts of town. And we're going to cross the River Usk now. Not really that much I can tell you about the River Usk. It joins onto the Severn, that river we went in through the long tunnel under. It's the second most tidal river in the world, the Severn. But you didn't know that. After Fundy Bay in Canada, I think it is. Bear in mind, everything I've told you, I'm reciting from memory. Right, this is the River Esk. That's Newport Castle by there. On the left. Old Newport Bridge. Wow, they modelled that well. And the wave, that red thing. And the car park. This actually looks fairly accurate. There's the roundabout's a bit different to that, but I can't fault them for that. Right, uh, Kind of pretty much missed the speed then. I guess it's going to keep it on low brake. Coming into the right platform. Right, this is what I mean about the footwell. This is the old footwell here, which they've actually knocked down now, but when the game was modelled, it was still there. So that's the old one, and this is the new one down here. And I swear to God, it looks like, you know in biology when they showed you what a vagina looks like? It looks exactly like that from the top, with the ovaries and everything. Uh, oh, I think we're starting a bit too early. Uh, where do we stop? Screw it. Here. And 14th century. Oh, bye HST. Yeah, that's the new Great Western Library. Not a massive fan of it. Right. So, this is Newport, my hometown. That's Admiral by there. We're in pretty much in the town centre. That's the old footbridge down by there. I don't know if I can zoom in. Yes, I can. That's the old footbridge. Fairly sensible. And this is what the new one looks like from above. Tell me that doesn't look like a vagina. <laughs> I know that sounds immature, but I swear to God, that's what it reminds me of. That walkway. Or, like... Uh, what's his name? Sid out of Ice Age. Maybe, a little bit. Either way, I haven't opened the doors. <laughs> Boom. Let's get down here. Let's see how well this is modeling. Can we go up the stairs? I doubt it. Uh, oh my god, we can. Only this far. That's pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Uh, there's glass there normally, but yeah, can't fault them for that. That car park's in the right place. This is pretty accurate. Right, anyway, we should probably get going now. Goodbye, Newport. My beloved town. The amount of times I've been on this train journey in real life is unbelievable. Uh, first person, there. Break R, oh, go for it. Wheel spin. Come on, baby. Spin those, spin those wheels. No. Ah. But yeah, these trains are so comfy. They're starting to replace them now, but they are so comfy, I swear to God. The only train I've ever been on which is more comfortable is the Pendolino, which Virgin News on the West Coast Main Line. And my God, I was sat in there on the way from, I was coming back from Liverpool Lime Street down to uh, we was going to crew, I think, and then we was going to interchange, and we put a pendolino, and I sat there, oh, speeding, whoops, I sat on this pendolino, and it wasn't moving for about 20 minutes, so I got out my phone and started doing a sudoku, and I looked up again, we was going about 100 miles an hour, I didn't even know we were moving, that's how comfy they are. That's the only train I've ever sat on which is more comfortable. But these HSTs, they're pretty close behind. Providing the driver's nice and smooth, basically not me. 
then yeah, sometimes you don't even notice that you've set off. So comfy. Right, it's feeling it's 50, going up to 75 soon. So if I go down in throttle, we should hit the speed board before the speed goes. I don't even know what I just said. That didn't make any sense, I don't think. Right, we're staying on this track. This is the fast track. That tunnel there goes pretty much nowhere. They don't use it. My plan with the throttle didn't work. This is the other yard I was on about on the left. And after all these speed changes and signals, I'm going to go outside view. I just don't want to miss another AWS because they take the mech. I don't care that we're speeding. I've given up caring. ETA, 8 minutes. That's pretty accurate. Sounds about right. There is an expansion for the Great Western Main Line, which goes... You can go all the way from London to Swansea on there. I don't know how much that costs, mind. I don't know how anything about it pretty much if you want to find out about that either google it or go on ptg did a video on it i think ptg rail quite a good youtuber for like train sim videos uh right speed fast as we can 95 miles an hour we are about to go flying or should we, should we just say screw it and go flat out this is a sim nothing bad can happen I think we might. Let's see if we can hit 125 before Cardiff. So come on baby, let's see what we let's see what you can do. 65. If we're not going 100 by Went Lug, I'm gonna start breaking. Went Lug is a freight terminal about two thirds of the way along. Do you know what would be nice is if there was more traffic on this route? It's one of the very few routes in Train Sim which has AI traffic built in. But it'd be nice if they were more common. That pylon's not particularly brilliant, it's a bit 8 bit, but you know, what are we going to do about it? Right, come on, fast as we can. 77, 95 so speed limit most of the way there now. Pretty much countryside, so there's nothing to look at at slow speed, nothing interesting. If it was like a mountain route or something, I'd probably keep it to the speed limit. But it's a perfectly straight flat line, so we might as well see how fast we can go. Right, we might as well, right? Right, come on, 85. I want to hit 125. I want to see if we can get over 125. Let's go inside. So that's what 90 miles an hour looks like, apparently. First class. Pretty steady frame rate inside. Yeah, it's pretty much countryside here, yeah, nothing special. Never been in first class in my life, but meh. Honestly, it doesn't look that great. Like, even in the modern carriages, I've seen them through the window, they don't look that much more comfortable. Right, we're now officially speeding. Uh, yeah, outside view, why not? 100, coming up on 100. Right, black town, don't know where that is. I assume it's that on the right. Excuse me, got the hiccups, terrible timing. Right, 101. Can we hit 125 by the time we get to Cardiff and stop in time? That's quite important. We'll probably derail at Cardiff if we don't because there's a few sharp turns. Certainly wouldn't want to take them at 125 miles an hour. So it's a good job I know the area because I know roughly where we are and when to start braking. So we've got 105 now. Here comes the 75 limit, so we're coming up on Wentloo Freight Terminal. We're apparently the engine's at 1500 RPM. Whatever, I'll just... I'll agree with that, whatever. Uh, 5 miles. What, 5.5? Every TA's coming down. Ah, oh, you stupid, stupid game. Oh, well there goes that. Oh, I was, that's went Luke Freight Terminal on the left. I was too busy watching the ETA. You son of a... 
I'm not going to finish that sentence. There might be kids listening. But I am. That really annoyed me. And there goes the idea of hitting 125. You son of a gun. Boom, hit by a train. <laughs> that, that we, if we was going fast, that may have been scary, but that really wasn't scary, was it? Right. And brakes released. Forward, go. I don't know what that noise was then. I don't know if you heard that. Right, what time is it? Well, it was 10 past 3 in the morning. <laughs> Uh, I gotta be up early this morning, and then on Tuesday, because this isn't being released, so it's currently Monday early morning, it's probably coming out on Thursday, I think, and I've got a job interview on Tuesday, what the hell, break off, yeah, I've got to, got to get up for early for a job interview on Tuesday, why are we not going anywhere, that was weird, I definitely released the brakes, I don't know. Yeah, so I gotta be. I'm basically doing all night, an all night, uh, doing what I gotta do tomorrow morning. Coming in, going to sleep at six a.m. at uh, six p.m. and hoping I can get up in time for a job interview at six o'clock on Tuesday. So yeah, my life is a bit hectic at the moment. So I'm pre-recording about four videos to put up. So you guys don't miss me too much. I've also set up a Twitch account. I'm not going to start streaming yet till I get a second monitor, but it will be a GT Gamer official, I think, probably it's going to be called. It's not called that at the moment, so don't bother trying to search it. I'll put a link in the description when I set it up. But what I want to know is whether you guys would be interested in seeing me live stream. Because I, wa I actually want to do it. I've already got two followers somehow, which is pretty weird because I haven't uploaded anything. I, mean, I, I would like to upload or start streaming even I think streaming will be good it certainly looks complicated though so yeah swings and roundabouts I am really tired I'm just rubbing my eye as I'm saying everything now barely concentrate right we're getting close to Cardiff so I'm going to go inside view from here on out uh, I don't know how quickly I'll end the scenario when I stop at the platform so I don't know if you'll get an outside shot to go out with. I know where we are now though, we're buying Newport Road. It's funny because the road goes from Newport to Cardiff. It, at the Newport end it's called Cardiff Road, at the Cardiff end it's called Newport Road. So yeah, we're about three miles from Cardiff now. Cardiff being the largest city in Wales and of course the capital. And the Millennium Stadium is right by the station. I'll try and show you that. The Millennium Stadium is absolutely massive like you stand next you don't appreciate the size of it until you stand right underneath it on speeding it really is absolutely huge right, we're buying Maplin I think Maplin the computer store I think they got a shop here on the right or have we passed that I don't know I haven't been on the train down here for a few months just gradually break in now for the 40 limit which is in oh, that's in a mile I just Coast down until we get half a mile away. Oh, there's the AWS. That's caught me out three times this journey, I think. Or is it two? Two or three, either one. Just have a bit of my drink before we get into Cardiff. So, guys, have you enjoyed this video? Bear in mind. This is my first time talking on Train Simulator, so I was just talking about random stuff. But would you guys like to see more videos? I really need to start breaking. Would you like to see more videos on Train Simulator? Uh, let me know. Give, give it a thumbs up to let me know. You don't have to comment anything, because I know a lot of you don't like commenting. But just give me a thumbs up. Let me know you like this video, and I'll start, start making more on Train Simulator. Because it is a fairly... It can be a fun game with speeding. 
might as well release the brakes since we're speeding anyway. We don't lose points. But yeah, would you guys like to see more videos on this? And if you would, why don't you try and suggest a route to me in the suggestions? Or you can message me on my Facebook, which is in the description. Just let me know if there's any particular train or any route or any weather even that you'd like to see. Because we're like early morning in spring at the moment on a clear day. And now I've actually got a computer with which can handle it. It's got solid frame rate, so I'd be more than happy to make more videos on it. Right. Coming into Cardiff. That's a big hotel, that big ass building on the right there. That building over there. Oh. This building here with a circle on top. That's there in real life, and I don't actually know what it is. If anyone does know. Because I have been, I've been curious about that. I think it's a radio station. The University of South Wales is on the right here. Yeah, got a lot of AWS in there. Should probably be checking the signals if I'm getting so many AWS, but I'm not, oh well. Uh, I do need to start breaking. Heavy. That's the University of South Wales there. Uh, Cardiff Queen Street Station is up on the right, and so is Cardiff Prison. Uh, are we going to make this speed limit? There's the speed board. Right, AWS. I get it. Platform 3 we're coming into. I'll try and show you the Millennium before it cuts out. I don't know if it will cut out, but I'll try and show you the Millennium. I'm not very good at keeping to these speed limits, am I? It's because I'm chatting, so I'm not concentrating. Uh, right. Platform 3 is on the left of the main four-track bit. Uh, give it a bit of throttle, otherwise we'll start rolling backwards. So we're going to take this branch off on the left here. Very old station this, built by Great Western Railway in like the 18 somethings. Don't know, I'm not very good at history. There's the Millennium on the right with those towers. Each one of those towers is like 90 something metres tall. I'll try and show you that, because the Millennium is a hell of a lot bigger than most people realise. It's where the uh, Welsh Dragon, pretty much anything involving the Welsh national team plays there, or the Cardiff Blues or whatever they're called. Newport Dragons all the way. Right, we need to stop. Uh, is there a marker? This is very well done, this station, by the way. I used to go ice skating in Cardiff, and I used to get off on this platform, go all the way across to 7 or 8 and change onto the Valleys line. Not sure where the front of the train should stop though, if I'm honest. Uh, oh, there's a four and five, six car stop. Is there an eight car stop anywhere? HST there. Oh, gonna miss it. Right. Nah, that wasn't bad. Oh, I think I just opened the doors too early. Right, nine, no, eight, nine go away, eight. So that's the Millennium there, that's the River Taff, I believe. And this stadium, if you stand next to it, is absolutely ginormous. I wonder if it's modelled the inside of it or just like a roof or something. Oh, go away, I want to look inside. If I press close, then it's going to close the scenario. Shame I can't get rid of that. But yeah, the Millennium Stadium's absolutely huge. So guys, did you like this video? Just give me a thumbs up if you want to see more train sim videos. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you are. And I will catch you next time. Peace out, guys.